at the moment, 1955 in Argentina, the tango starts dying. Uh, the cause of it is that the, the music of Elvis Presley, Bill Haley, rock and roll starts coming into Argentina. And the young generation, 16, 17, 18 years old, they start getting more excited with rock and roll than with tango. They, they don't, they're not interested in tango. So yet they listen to rock and roll. Then the Beatles come in in the 60s, and that's the end of the tango. But my music goes on, and the young people understood my music because it wasn't boring. I mean, the old traditional tango was very boring. It's, it's repeated. It, there, there's no changes. There's have, there have been no changes in that music for at least 40 or 50 years until I come in. And when I come in, I'm taking away the tango, the people. It's a sentimental problem. It was like a war. Uh, one against all. They were all against me in that moment in 1954. And it was really terrible. I mean, they threatened my family. They threatened me, my, my son and my daughter. They, was, they used to, they gave me a beating once in the street because I was changing the music. I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, you should study music in this life, but you know, you have to know how to defend yourself. You must know a little about uh, Today you learn a little karate and all that. It's very important too. And uh, if you uh, decided to change music, you better know something about boxing or, or uh, martial uh, uh, sports. But uh, just the same, at the, uh, the people who menaced me in those moments, today, maybe they are my friends. Maybe they love me. Maybe, I said. I'm not sure of it. <laughs> Thank you. 